this section, we're going to explore the idea of uh, materials. We're going to be talking about uh, how to prepare your own paper. And we're going to go ahead and copy this Michelangelo drawing. This is a drawing that was uh, done uh, on a tone a sheet of paper. Possibly the tone was achieved with uh, either coffee or in ink. The paper most likely was toned with bister, which is, I have here, uh, this, this ink has been uh, mixed with water. It's a powder and you could just buy it anywhere um, that specializes in historic materials. This is a Canson Mutantis charcoal paper or multimedia paper. It'll need to have some capacity to hold a moisture, otherwise the paper will fall apart. Uh, we're going to be using a fresco brush, which is similar to brushes used by Renaissance masters to apply these tones. And I've diluted the ink to match the tone of the drawing. And this is simple. I've taped down the paper so it will not wrinkle or um, come apart. So I'm going to go ahead and soak the brush. And look at what a beautiful tone that uh, yields. And this is a perfect ground for charcoal or black chalk. In this case, I'm going to be using um, Conte crayon, but, which is similar to black chalk. And you can see that it's not an even, it's not an even tone. It goes into the texture of the paper and it really gives you a beautiful uneven tone which is consistent with some of the imperfections that you see in the drawing. You can see that uh, the paper gets kind of wrinkled a little. That will relax once the ink dries. And um, if you're interested in creating some of the imperfections, you could sort of with the brush tap it and really create. This gives space to the drawing. It's not necessary. This is just from the age of the drawing, but it does yield some interesting results that kind of give the drawing a lot of interest. And you can see the imperfections. I really like some of these imperfections because they give space to the drawing. It's something behind the drawing. So in a lot of my drawings, I kind of go out of my way to sort of uh, make sure that either change the tones in the corners and all these things really just give a lot of interest to the drawing you know the paper has to be fully dry before we could continue and we're going to go ahead and do that